Hello, it's Libby from LibbyStamps.com and I'm continuing my series on the window box Dinlet dies and the window shopping stamp set which come as a bundle at the moment in the occasions catalogue and if you buy them as a bundle you can get 10% off. Today we're going to have a look at making the box but a box with a difference. This box opens up like a normal box and I have a little tea light candle inside and then the flap closes down again. This box that we're going to make today is sort of more like a crocodile type box and you could pop treats or little cards or something inside there. So we'll get started and what you need to do is from the window box then that dies you need to cut two of this shape and two of this shape. Now I've done them out of different colours hopefully so you can see a little better and I've already cut mine out. So we're using Dapper Denim and Soft Sky. Now I've already cut these in half and I'll explain. Alright so you need two of these and what you're actually going to do is you'll see on the die once it's cut out there's a little border and then another little border before the score lines etc. So you're going to cut off along that second border. So I've already put pencil marks on this one. Now this pencil mark here is the score line and this pencil mark here is the border that I want to cut it along. So I'll just trim that up in my little trimmer. And then that's ready. And then the only other thing I need to do is cut it in half from point to point. So you could use your stamp and trimmer for this. It's just this is quick and easy when I'm doing a video. Alright, so that's those two bits done. Now here's my sinlet die cut. So this this bit here already cut. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut from this point here to this point here and then this bit is going to glue on there. So I'll bring in my trimmer again. And go from point to point. Right. So this bit is going to stick on, sorry, around that way. But first we need to score all the rest of our lines and burnish them. So we'll just do that quickly. sides first. Oh, before you do that you need to decide whether you've got a top and a bottom so I'll make this one my bottom and I'm just going to trim off one side that's going to be my front. So just with my snips along the score line. So I've snipped that off so that's going to be the front of my box but at the bottom and we'll just go ahead and put my boxes together now. So again I'm just using liquid glue.
got our flapping box. Now we need to just put these panels on the front and the back. So again, I'm just using liquid glue. on the bottom and you'll notice it's bigger but that's all right so that one's going on there like that and that one's going on there like that all right when you close it up the top flap goes sort of inside no it doesn't it goes outside and it closes like that and you put your your sentiment across the top there like I have here to hide that join so that's how you make your flapping box I adhered the sentiment just with a couple of stamp and dimensionals underneath and it covers the join nicely and you'll find that it closes properly because you've taken that flap off there and you've just got that little closure there alright Thanks for stopping by today. Bye for now.